arriving into Platform 17 is the unadvertised service from Kensington Olympia on the then usually freight only West London line. The BR Standard Class 3 262 tank engine runs round its train and is set off. Curving under the dozen or so tracks for both Victoria and Waterloo, we come to Latchmere Junction. After passing the site of Battersea Station, closed in 1940, we cross the Thames, seeing Lops Road Power Station, which supplied the Underground Railway. Imperial Wharf Station would be opened here in 2009 after the area was redeveloped. We pass the District Line train heading for Wimbledon. West Brompton District Line Station, then under Earls Court Exhibition Hall. The District Line's Olympia branch joins us. In 1966, BR made this station the London terminal for motor rail, by which cars were conveyed on the double-deck wagons we've just seen. These were attached to the coaches in which the car's passengers travelled. After our loco has run round, we set off back to Clapham Junction. The sidings behind the opposite platform have since been replaced by a row of apartment blocks. We pass London Underground's depot for engineers' trains. Several of their battery locos are seen. West Brompton would regain its West London line platforms in 1999. Remains of Chelsea and Fulham Station closed in 1940. Chelsea Creek. Across the Thames by Battersea Railway Bridge. The first divergence is to the Windsor Lines. We take the second. Straight on leads to Long Hedge Junction then to the southeastern lines from Victoria. Having passed under the main lines from Waterloo and from Victoria's Brighton side, we curve round towards Clapham Junction's Platform 17, from which we had started.